Okay, so following those instructions, when you mark the midpoint M, the midpoint is halfway between these two points. So from B to M and from M to A, those segments have the same width. So I went ahead and I marked my diagram with that wasn't part of the question, but I uh, went ahead and drew that piece of information in there because it's probably going to be relevant later on. Um, and then we've got the, the line OM, and it looks like most everybody got that correct, what that angle is. That does create a 90 degree angle at point M on both sides. Um, so we've got 90 degrees right here. So filling in our blanks, what word do y'all think goes first? A line to the what? Of the circle? <laughs> Through the center of a circle by six accord, if and only if the line is, what do you think is in the big one? Perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular to the court. Okay, so anytime you have a court and you draw a line through the center of it, through the center of the circle, um, and you know that it creates a right angle, then you know that chord's been bisected, or vice versa. If you know the chord's been bisected, then you know a right angle has been formed. Now we're getting ready to answer some questions um, that are going to ask us, we've got a right angle, probably going to use some right triangles. We're going to start using uh, these radii, O, B, O, A. We're going to throw those in there um, to answer some questions here. Um, now, the chord is bisected, it forms right angles, and this angle at the center is also bisected, okay? So the angle uh, BOM and AOM are congruent, okay? That angle right there in the center, that central angle is bisected as well. I don't know why I don't really talk about that as much, but that is a true statement. Okay, so let's answer some questions using this idea. We are given a circle that has a radius of six inches. Okay, radius of six inches. We're going to use that piece of information for all the following problems. In addition to that, for part A, the question is what is the length of a cord that has a central angle of 115 degrees? Now, in your picture, you only have the center of your, tri uh, of your circle marked. Um, if you want to draw it out exactly 115 degrees, you can, or you can just kind of copy what I have up here, uh, throw some radii in there um, to make it look like a central angle right here of 115 degrees. The question is, what is the length of the cord? So from the point where this angle intersects the circle on both sides, this is what we're looking for. This whole distance right here is what we're looking for. And the only other thing we know is that the radius is six inches. We can put six inches on both sides. Now, instead of just telling and showing you how to do this problem, I want you all to take a minute and brainstorm and see if you can use what we just learned about drawing the line and bisecting the cord and what's created and use some trig to see if you can find the length of that cord. Okay, how about we think about what we just learned about bisecting a cord and there being a perpendicular line that goes through the center. So, if I draw a perpendicular line that goes through the center of my circle, it's going to bisect that cord, correct? What else did I say it bisected? The angle, right? The central angle. So this half would be 57.5 degrees. It was a perpendicular bisector, so it created a right triangle. So, six inches, the radius there. What leg of the right triangle is that? The hypotenuse. 
because mm. it's directly across from the right angle. Six is the hypotenuse. Um, we're looking for the chord, but we can only find part of it. So the part of the chord is what side of this right triangle in relationship to the angle that we've got. The opposite. Opposite the hypotenuse, which trig ratio? Sine. Got to remember that, guys. You've got to remember that trick. So could tell it. Sine. Sine is opposite of a hypotenuse. So the sine of 57.5 is equal to the opposite. That's what we're looking for. I'm not going to use x because I already have that on my picture. So I'm going to use b so I don't get confused. Bisect it. That's a good one. Okay. Uh, b over the hypotenuse, 6. Except my b and my 6 almost look the same. How do we solve this? Multiply by 6. Make sure our calculator is in degree mode in case somebody reset it somewhere along the line. So 6 sine of 57.5 gives us 5.06. That's not the whole chord. That's the bisected part of the chord. So when we turn around and multiply it by 2, 10.12 inches is approximately the length of our chord. Look at that. Okay, so let's twist this question around. We're going to reset. The radius is still 6 inches, but we're going to reset. And we're going to say, well, what is the measure of the arc of a chord that is 8 inches long? Now, let's think about this for a second. Should our answer be bigger than or less than, greater than or less than 115 degrees? Based on what we just found in A, do you think the answer should be more than or less than 115 degrees? Why? Less than, because the chord is shorter. A shorter chord corresponds to a smaller angle. Okay, so our answer should be less than 115 degrees. That really had no impact on the problem, except I just wanted you to think about that. Okay, so we still know that the radius is 6 inches. This time we're looking for the measure of the arc, and the chord is 8 inches long. Now, we can't do anything with that the way it is because we don't have any right angles. So that's where what we just learned comes into play. Throw that perpendicular bisector in there. So that makes that portion of the chord 4. We have a right angle, so now we can use trig. We're trying to find this angle right here. So do we need to change our ratio? Or do we change our trig ratio? Do we still use sine or do we need to use cosine or tangent? Is 6 still the hypotenuse? Yes. Is 4 the opposite or adjacent side? Opposite. So do we still use sine? Yes. Thank you. Sine of the angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. How do we solve for angles? The inverse. Inverse sine of 4 over 6. So our angle is 41.81. Is that our final answer? No, that's just the angle within the triangle. We want to know that entire central angle. So what do we do to it? Multiply it by 2 because it was bisected. 83.62. That makes a little bit more sense than 41. I know it was supposed to be smaller, but probably not that much smaller compared to 115 degrees. Now, another part of this question says, what is the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the chord? So what is that asking me for? The perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the chord, it's asking me for this segment right here. How can we find that segment? Diagram theorem. You could use some trig. You could do trig if you wanted to. You could do cosine. 
if you want to do trick, or we can do Pythagorean theorem. Um, so the hypotenuse is six, one of the legs is four, we're looking for the, I'm going to call it P since it's a perpendicular distance. So 36 is equal to 16 plus P squared. 20 is P squared. Take the square root. Let's simplify that for a little while since we simplified the square root. That would be 2 square root of 5. Because 20 is 4 times 5. Square root of 4 is 2. 5 stays under. But it would probably be more helpful to have the decimal value. 2 square root of 5. And that distance is approximately 4.47 inches.